comes the horror. Coming to get you, Saxton. Uh, I think I gotta run to the bathroom. You do that normally, Byron. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from the bottomless pits. Weighing in at 260 pounds. Hey, Byron, are those worms coming out of your, your suit pocket? Whoa, wait, no, 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 tell me you're joking, tell me you're joking. <laughs> Cole, why didn't you think of that earlier? He ran away, and now it's time for the boogeyman. He's coming to get you. Make no mistake about it, we are looking at a master of mind games. Boogeyman has wormed his way into people's psyches permanently. Oh, I see what you did there, Corey, because the Boogeyman eats worms. Uh. One of the two most handsome creatures to walk the face of the earth. Wait, I forgot myself. Make that three. Oh, brother. And his opponent, representing Pretty Deadly from London, England, weighing in at 185 pounds, Kit Wilson. Uh, doesn't get more self-absorbed, yeah. except for maybe his partner in crime. Well, lucky for him, he's used to jealousy from the masses and peers. And this guy does not let it phase him. tag team experience has to prove himself separate from Elton Prince. A master of defying the odds and expectations in a truly fabulous way. Kid Wilson facing off one out here. There's got to be a certain amount of wariness when you're facing an opponent as cunning as Wilson. I definitely wouldn't underestimate Wilson. You know, we've seen that cost opponents before. You have to get past all of his flamboyance and treat him as the dangerous competitor that he is. Certainly a shrewd opponent. We'll see what sort of ace Kid has in his pocket tonight. Well, I hope he isn't afraid of worms because he's got to deal with the freaking boogeyman. Yeah, and if you think his entrance is unsettling, wait till you see him in the ring. Boogeyman is as athletic as he is terrifying. And Corey, he's pretty darn terrifying. And that looked like a rag doll being thrown around. Just a perfect mix of pure power and bad intentions. Sight set on the top rope. On the top. Into the ring again. Oh, God, that, that, that's a bad landing. And that might have been too erratic of a decision to take on the apron. Oh, no. Crashing hard onto the floor. Oh, boom. Swept the leg right out from under. And now the pace of this match being set up by the Boogeyman. Boogeyman is doing a great job remaining engaged with the opposition. Oh no, that look from the Boogeyman can't be good. Down to opponent and a double axe handle smash. Look at that strength, incredible. Well, this crowd is going to have a little company. Therefore, maybe they should think about taking the fight somewhere else. They already have a Saxton. Thinking's not really on the menu right now. Well, Kit Wilson has seen some early success in his career. You have to acknowledge that he's still fairly untested in the ring. He may not be too deep into his career, but we've seen Wilson rise to the occasion several times so far. He enters the ring with the intention of proving he's not just a pretty face. Now look at this aggression, just pure brutality. Oh, oh, easy. The kid is in a distressing spot. A full court press being applied to Wilson. Whoa. A slam. Oh, 
submission. Continues. This yes, is getting out of control. This is absolutely ridiculous. I'm surprised it took this long. of the term fair and square, having a little outside help does not feel like it fits the bill. 